The Lazarus Pit is a brilliant yet utterly batty concept that's been floating around in the DC universe for nearly 50 years now. With its introduction, death was no longer as clinical as once thought now that DC had a means for bringing back villains and heroes that had bit the big one. With the 1971 Batman number 232 tale Daughter of the Demon, the Lazarus Pit and Rachel Ghoul, and I will always call him that, showcased the powerful properties of the potent pool. But now, in the year of 2019, we know that he's not the only one to have taken a dip. So let's wet the head of these DC babies and see what's happened before and after a spell in the deep end. I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and here's what happened to everyone who used a Lazarus pit. Number 10. The Joker Having been shot several times by Talia al Ghul, it looked like it was finally curtains for the Joker in 2001's Legends of the Dark Knight number 145. That is, until a certain caped crusader turned up to save his life. Why Batman would want to save this grease-painted crime lord is beyond me, but you never forget your first true love, I guess. Also, I suppose he did have some information that Batman needed, but still, bringing him back to life after all he's done? Madness. Deciding that he had no choice, however, Batman prepares a Lazarus pit and brings the Joker back to life. As the world's greatest detective and Alfred wait for an even crazier Joker to emerge from the pit, the twist to this tale was that the Lazarus Pit gave the gesture of genocide his sanity back. In one of the most poignant moments in the history of the Joker, we saw this most evil of villains have to deal with the realization of the horrible acts that he'd done throughout his life. Of course, comics being comics, Mr. J was soon back to his murderous ways once more when the Lazarus Pit dip began to wear off. Number 9. Black Canary Back during 2001's Birds of Prey number 34, Dinah Laurel Lance decided that she'd rather die than marry Ra's al Ghul, and to be fair, she nearly did. Turning down the demon head's marriage proposal, she would soon find herself fighting one of the League of Assassins' most notorious of warriors, Ubu. So bad were Black Canary's wounds that the ever-wise Oracle and Blue Beetle are forced to admit that Dinah was at the point where not even the world's best doctors could save her. But wait, what's that? Oh, well, it's a nearby Lazarus pit, of course. Interestingly, not only did the pit bring her back to life, but also changed her ability to have children. Before the pit, this wasn't possible, yet after, she was able to have children once more. Number 8. The Riddler It's one thing to use a Lazarus pit at the behest of Ra's al Ghul, but to sneakily use one behind the backs of the League of Assassins, well, it's never going to end well. For Edward Nigma, he saw the Lazarus pit as the only way that he could survive once the discovery was made that he had a lethal brain tumor. Not only did the Riddler's quick dip eradicate this cancerous tumor, it also massively increased Nigma's physical and mental abilities. Now, considering that the Master of Riddles was already one of the most intelligent members of the DC Universe, the newfound Lazarus Lazarus Pit enhanced smarts caused Eddie to work out the greatest riddle of them all, who is Batman. What is rather funny though is that while the Lazarus Pit did indeed give Eddie a brain boost, it also seemed to have loosened his tongue too much as well, because he freely admitted how he'd snuck past the League of Assassins to Batman, who gently reminded him that if Eddie told anyone who he was under the cowl, he'd tell the League of Assassins who got pubes in the bathwater. Now that is a riddle that Nigma didn't need to be a genius in order to solve. Number 7. King Snake while some people have used the Lazarus Pit to literally be brought back from the dead, and others have used it to heal wounds and illnesses, King Snake's time in the pit saw the villain regain his sight. As his origins go, this master martial artist was blinded by gunfire when working as a mercenary for hire. That didn't stop him from living a life of crime, however, and King Snake would also go on to father a son. You might have heard of him, Bane. On a quest to become the new master of Cobra, King Snake would happen upon a Lazarus Pit, and it was after this Lazarus Pit dip that King Snake revealed that he was indeed Bane's father after the hulking luchador had entered into this particular storyline. However, this wasn't some sort of family reunion that you'd find in a movie, this was the sort of family reunion that you'd find on daytime TV, and the pair just called each other nuts, which is pretty rich seeing as one wants to be a literal king of snakes and the other is a, just a mask-wearing buff boy. However, this wasn't the only case of the pit being used in this arc, as Bane too would use the healing properties of the pool after being gunned down by Snake's men. Like father, like son, eh? 
Number 6. Cassandra Cain When Cassandra Cain was introduced to the Bat family and the general public alike, she was presented as an illiterate mute who had zero social skills and quite the bloodlust. Luckily for all involved, Cassandra's character was expanded on by DC and the question then turned to who Cass's parents actually were. This would all lead Cain to the door of the League of Assassins as Batgirl began to gather more and more evidence that Lady Shiva was indeed her mother, and her mission to track down Shiva ultimately saw Cass being killed at the hands of her pseudo brother Mad Dog. In a classic mother and daughter moment to bring tears to the eyes, Shiva would bring her daughter back to life in a Lazarus pit before Cassandra then broke her mother's neck and left her for dead. Oof. Number 5. Lady Shiva And speaking of that moment of neck-snapping fury, let's talk about what happened next. Now, there's no definitive moment shown in panel of Lady Shiva taking a plunge in the Lazarus Pit, yet the common belief is that Shiva must have done so at some point. Having been paralyzed due to said neck-snap, the villain was picked up by Cass and taken over to the very same Lazarus Pit that had just been used to bring Batgirl back to life. For her part, however, Lady Shiva pleaded her daughter not to put her in the pit. In response to this, as you do, Cassandra impaled Shiva on a hook that overhung the Lazarus pit. It was left ambiguous as to whether this was done in a way to kill her mother or merely designed so that Lady Shiva would eventually fall into the Lazarus pit and be healed. An impalement with a big instrument that led to her mother getting wet. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. It escapes me. Either way, the fast-forward arc of one year later confirmed that Shiva was indeed alive and unless we're entering clone territory, it's likely that the pit was the reason for this. Number 4. Batwoman as part of Grant Morrison's opinion-splitting run on Batman, 2010's Blackest Night arc saw Kate Kane, aka Batwoman, become the latest DC Comics favorite to take a dip in one of Rachel Ghoul's Lazarus Pits. To be specific, this was supposedly the only Lazarus Pit left in existence, and the person originally planned to be taking a soak was none other than Bruce Wayne. Only it wasn't, for the supposed corpse of Bruce was really some evil dark side created clone. Just don't ask, just accept. Getting back to the point though, this was the period when Dick Grayson had taken on the Batman moniker. With this faux corpse in his possession, Grayson intended to bring his deceased mentor back from the dead. As you might expect, when an evil clone gets woken back up, chaos soon broke out and Batwoman was buried alive under some rubble. With severe spinal and leg injuries, Dick decided that the only way to save Kate was to put her into the Lazarus Pit. Unlike so many others though, this was a relatively smooth process and Kane didn't have the usual I need to kill everyone response that had before than others who have taken a dip before. Which makes you wonder though, if that bloodlust was there from the start and was just inverted. Am I reading too much into this? Yes. Or am I? Number 3. Nora Freeze as villains go, Victor Freeze is a fascinating case due to the fact that he has a very sincere and genuine motivation for his heinous acts. Well, for the most part, at least. For Mr. Freeze, it comes down to the desperation to somehow find a way to bring his beloved wife Nora back to life. Surely, a quick power shower in the pit would help with this problem, and, but my god, I bet Victor wish he hadn't done that, because after finally securing access to a pit, before he can even say, take a chill pill, things took a turn for the worse. The chemicals used to keep Nora suspended in frozen animation for years had altered her genetic makeup in a way that reacted badly with the pit. So badly, in fact, that this resurrection left Nora crazed and with the ability to manipulate flames. And the worst thing about this all is that she proclaimed her undying hatred for her husband. Number 2. Jason Todd Despite death rarely being a permanent arrangement in comics, it was always viewed that Uncle Ben, Bucky Barnes, and Jason Todd were the notable exceptions to this. With readers voting to kill off Jason Todd, the second Robin back in 1988's A Death in the Family arc, Jason managed to remain dead for 17 years before being brought back in 2005's Under the Hood. Now, Conveniently, Talia al Ghul would be the person to stumble across a near-zombified amnesiac and wounded Jason and popped him in for a quick dip in the Lazarus Pit, which made him fit and healthy once more, but also with huge vengeance on his mind for his death at the hands of the Joker. I'm sure that won't come up again. And number 1. Ra's al Ghul The demon's head has used a Lazarus pit more times than the rest of us have had hot dinners. This is a character, of course, who has lived for centuries thanks to taking plentiful dips in the magical waters of his own personal Lazarus pits. While some have gone insane, or sane in the Joker's case, after experiencing the powers of the Lazarus pit, Ra's has become wiser and more cunning as the years have gone by. This is, after all, one of Batman's most intelligent and calculating of foes, and a large part of that is down to the mystical energy and enhanced given by Raish's time 
in the Lazarus pit. And there we go, my friends. That is what happened to everyone who used a Lazarus pit. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. But before you go and get up to whatever it is you're getting up to today, you beautiful people, let's just take something from today's video. The Lazarus pit is something that rejuvenates the body and mind, albeit with negative consequences. So let's try and do that for our brains without the negative consequences. Sometimes when things are getting too much and things are getting too busy, it is okay to take a step back and take a mental power shower to rejuvenate yourself and get things back in focus. And if you're struggling getting things into perspective, then remember, you can always speak to people, because trust me, people care way more than you realize. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. You have been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!